Step 1. Open the box and remove 1 swab, 1 empty specimen tube, 1 full liquid tube and 1 bag with the test cassette and put in front of you on the flat table. Step 2. Take the bag with the test cassette, remove from the packaging bag and place flat on the dry table. Step 3. Take the full liquid tube and the empty specimen tube, remove the top of the full liquid tube and take off the cover of the empty specimen tube. Add 10 drops from the full liquid tube to the empty specimen tube and close it with the cover. Put in front of you on the table. Step 4. Open the bag with a swab as it is shown in the picture. Option 1. With the patient's head slightly lifted up and the mouth wide open, the patient's tonsils are exposed. With a clean swab, the patient's tonsils are gently rubbed back and forth at least three times, and then the patient's posterior pharyngeal walls are rubbed back and forth at least three times. Option 2. Let the patient's head relax naturally. Turn the swab against the nostril wall slowly into the nostril, then to the nasal palate and then rotate while wiping and remove slowly. Step 5. Take the specimen tube and remove the cover. Insert the head of the swab into the specimen tube. Mix well. Squeeze the swab from 10 to 15 times by compressing the walls of the specimen tube against the swab. Let it stand for 2 minutes. After that, take out the swab from the tube and put it aside. Put on the cover on the specimen tube. Step 6. Testing. Take the test kit cassette and place horizontally on the table. Take the specimen tube and add 3 drops of the sample to the test cassette hole. Set the timer for 15 minutes. Step 7. Read the result. The positive specimens can be detected at 15 minutes after sample addition. Interpretation of the results Positive. Two colored lines appear on the membrane. One line appears in the control region and the other line appears in the test. Negative. Only one colored line appears in the control region. No apparent colored line appears in the test region. Invalid. Control line fails to appear. Step 8. Put the used test substance in the bag and throw it in the appropriate place. Attention! The swab specimens should be tested as soon as possible after collection. Do not use specimens that are obviously contaminated with blood as it may interfere with the interpretation of the test results. Results from any test which has not produced a control line at the specified red time must be discarded. Please review the procedure and repeat with a new test. If the problem persists, discontinue using the kit immediately and contact your local distributor. The color intensity in the test region may vary depending on the concentration of analytes present in the specimen. Therefore, any shade of color in the test region should be considered positive. Note that this is a qualitative test only and cannot determine the concentration of analytes in the specimen. Insufficient specimen volume, incorrect operating procedure or expired tests are the most likely reasons for control line failure.